Welcome to the Sales Wolves Podcast. I am Tyler Harris. Joseph Caldwell. And we are the Sales Wolves. Alright. Man. This is episode Seven. eight. Is it eight? It is eight. Oh. <laughs> it is eight. episode eight of the Sales Wolves Podcast. We appreciate you joining us. I am positive. Man. So they positive. They fly by when you're having fun. Always. We appreciate you joining us today. And uh, to give you a quick rundown, like we always do in the very beginning, the reason for this podcast is to number one, show appreciation. Oh, uh, Lula. Lula. Appreciation. Is that water? Uh, in that bottle? <laughs> do I? Is that water in that bottle? <laughs> uh, it is now. <laughs> <clears throat> appreciation for what is one of the most difficult but one of the most honorable professions there is, and that is the salesperson. And yes. secondly, to provide uh, training that elsewhere you would have to pay money for. Uh, we've already paid the money for it. We've already been through the courses, been to the classes, read the books. Uh, we want to be able to provide what we got out of those and what we've just gotten out of experience in experience. life yep. uh, and provide that to you at no charge. And so uh, we appreciate you joining us. And uh, today's topic is the subjugator of change. And this is something that is uh, near and dear to Joseph here. Absolutely. It, that rhymed really weird. Near, Near and dear, dear to Joseph here. here. <laughs> <laughs> and so uh, it made me feel a little weird. <laughs> oh man, this and whole he, thing this and, whole thing is scripted. And he takes another sip <laughs> of what we think is water. <laughs> That's the sadka. <laughs> yeah. So with that, Joseph's gonna go ahead and get started, and uh, we're gonna talk to you a little bit about change today. Yeah, change. So. Um, we're in the process of building it. Do you have your personal site built? Mm-mm. You don't have your personal site built, but we're in the process of building our personal site. So people could, if they wanted to look up and find out who we are and what yeah. we, what we stand for, kind of what we're about. Um, then, and, and Tyler's helping me build that and, and he's building his own personal brand, which if you're not doing that in this day and age, then you, you need to be doing that. Mm -hmm. Um, it's, it's super important, but, uh, so we were going back and forth and I, I sent him an email. I was up um, getting some work done. It was probably 2.30, 3.30 in the morning. And um, actually I didn't send you the email until, was that 5.21? Mm -hmm. So it was probably- in. Must have slept in that day. No, well, yeah, but I- it, <laughs> Probably wrote it at it, three. It took me two hours to write that. <laughs> so I need to work on this. <laughs> I'm not real fast, but- uh, but anyway, so he was asking me, what's your story? What do you, what it, so we can put it on social media. And, and I was thinking through that and, and I'm, I'm about authentic, right? Yeah. And I want everybody, that's what everybody wants. I think out of people is just authenticity. Mm -hmm. Like when I get to know Tyler, I want to know, I want to know the real Tyler, not the, not the Facebook life that goes to Tortuga and post a picture on a ship and mm -hmm. post, even though that, that is your life, yeah. but I want the real, like, yeah. you know, the real, the real Tyler that had to change a diaper this morning and it mm -hmm. probably cured you from biting your nails ever again, right? <laughs> <laughs> That's real life. He has a little baby. He's, it's, it's, I remember those days. Yeah. Thank God they're over. <laughs> but, uh, but I want real. And so I, I sat down, it was probably three, four in the morning and, and started writing this out. And I'm just gonna read it and explain some to it. And it's, it's my story, but I called it the subjugator of change. And, um, and so as, uh, as, as I go through this, I'll probably stop and, and, and um, explain some of it and, and talk with you about it. And I know you have some, some awesome quotes for us to talk about too as well. Yeah. So, but, uh, but I, I, I just wrote, I said, Tyler, I don't know how to put this into words. It's really not my forte. But my story is one of struggle, victory, and reality. My journey to the authentic, authentic with myself first, which is self-aware, right? If you're not aware of you and your gifts, talents, abilities, and what you're not good at, mm -hmm. the things that are your weaknesses, your blind spots. I have a good friend of mine that does, does a talk on blind spots. and. And it's an incredible talk because it's a it's a it's a it's a motivator of self awareness. If if you don't know that, it all starts there, right? Authent authentic with my family and friends. If you're real with the people around you, authentic in my work. And once you become authentic in your work, 
Then it's what? Work, work, mm. work. I wrote work down five times. Then relentless, <laughs> relentless, relentless, relentless. I wrote that down four times. And then growth, growth, growth. Growth only comes on the tail end of work, 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 relentless, 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 only. Mm -hmm. and, uh, and so when you have that growth finally, when you see some of the fruits of your labor, that's when a lot of people stop. And, and that's when you need to get ramped up. You never rest on a victory. That's what I wrote here. Never rest on a victory, plow ahead. I am the subjugator of change. And so you know what subjugate means. I wrote the definition down. Subjugate is to bring under control, bring under complete control or, su or subjection, conquer, master, to make submissive, subservient, enslave. A subjugator is one who conquers, who defeats, who enslaves, conqueror, vanquisher, someone who is victorious by force of arms. Okay, there's some definitions so you understand what subjugator means, right? Mm -hmm. So this is a ser this is serious. Yeah. So why am I the subjugator of change? Here's why. When, when I, I believe that inside the heart of every person is, is the yearning for a fight, a battle, right? Um, and typically what we do is we turn that outward um, in, in the form of blame or, 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 or in the form of of uh, fighting for something external. When, when I believe that if every person would take that battle that's built into all of us, I know, I know, man, I'm, half the time when I was on my way um, and, and, and going through the journey of succeeding and making some money and, and whatever, I would, make, I would wake up mad as hell. I would wake up angry, looking for a fight. And, uh, and so it wasn't until I realized where to turn that that things really started changing for me. Um, I don't know if that makes sense, but it's when somebody takes, and I wrote here, so when you turn the battle that beats in the heart of every person into the correct direction, everything changes. And what I did was I, and the reason I'm the subjugator of change, that's what, that's, that's gonna be my personal branding, my personal mantle. The reason that I did that is because I turned my battle on personal change, right? I turned everything I had and I did a full tilt invasion against personal change until I made personal change my slave. Okay? So to subjugate, to enslave. So I subjugated change. I, en I enslaved. I dominated. I made, I made change submissive to me. And, and so, it, 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 and, and I wrote here, I said, put, by force of arms, I changed victoriously. What keeps me up at night, what wakes me up at 3 a.m. with no alarm is teaching others to do the same, free of charge. And here's why that's important. I, I feel like if we're able to teach other people to change themselves and to, and, to, and to grow themselves, doing it free of charge is, is my gift to them. It's your gift to them. Mm -hmm. You provide unbelievable content on, on your personal um, Facebook page on Tyler Harris, what is it, Tyler? Tyler Harris page. Tyler Harris page. Yeah. He provides unbelievable stuff for free. And, and the, reason, the reason that we do that is because when you provide that stuff for free, when we're able to do that for free, we know it's going to cost you something anyway. And the cost is, is in you changing. Person. It's going to cost you to change. Mm -hmm. I mean, could you put a price tag on what it costs you in experience to change you into the person that now is... is makes over a half a million dollars, whereas the person that you were 24 months ago made 30, 40, 50, 60,000, mm. right? That's a it's huge investment. Huge. <laughs> to change you to do yeah. that was a dear price you had mm -hmm. to pay. So, so why would I go, hey, well, you got to pay me so I could teach you the secret. <laughs> well, the secret's going to be learned along the way and you applying the things that you are taught, yep. right? And so, and so that's a very personal journey. So, so when it says, I'll teach it free of charge, but it'll be the dearest price that you ever pay for something. This battle on personal change will take you farther than you want to go, and it'll always keep you in battle a whole lot longer than you want to stay. Um, you know, what happens if you get committed to personal change like that and you do a full tilt invasion like I'm talking about? What happens is, is is that you start seeing these massive results around you 
and you can't rest on that. You have to keep driving to change yourself, right? And when you keep driving to change yourself, the 99% of people are going to not ever do it. Mm -hmm. And then the 99% of that 1% that do it are going to stop. But that 1% of the 1% are gonna keep changing. And what they do is they become a change agent to the world. They become a subjugator of change. They master change in their personal life. And I'm not saying that I have all the answers. I certainly don't. And I have things that I have to change about me that I know, I know you have some things mm -hmm. that you need to change right. about you. I can easily point yours out. <laughs> 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 Just play. Yeah, does it have to do with a razor? Is that we need to shave some of this stuff? I gonna. I told him earlier that when I get to the one set, like I have a, a fitness goal that I want to get to of 178 pounds. I'm three pounds away. I want to get there. I'm gonna shave my face, and he just looked at me with a confused look on his face. He's like. What, what does that have to do with anything? Like, what, how does that correlate? I'm like, yeah, I don't know. It's just what I decided. But uh, but we have things that we have to change, and he, the the cost of this war. The cost of the war on personal change that you have to pay is the dearest price that you'll ever pay, except for one. You know what the dearest price you'll ever pay is? Regret. That's it. <laughs> regret. Because when you pay the price of regret, when regret fully sinks in, guess what? It's too late. It's too late. And one of my terrifying. dearest, one of our yeah. dearest friends, and I, I could possibly get emotional here. It would probably surprise everybody because most people <laughs> don't think I can shed a tear. But, um, you know, but one of our dearest friends is is losing a um, a parent right now. She's with him. She's with him in the hospital, and and man, she has seen her parent go through regret the regret of missing out on his daughter's life on 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 knowing such a spectacular person and so so it's very real to think about for us because we've we've watched her walk through that with her with her with her father mm -hmm. and uh, and I can't imagine I cannot imagine looking back on my life and going man I wish I I wish I could have would have done a something and man you never want to look back and think I never knew my little girl. Mm. You, you, that type of regret. Oh, because yeah. you're not willing to change you. You're not willing to commit to this war. You're not willing to wage war on personal change. And to pay that dear price, I promise you the price of regret will be much greater. Much greater. Things are changing. Right? Absolutely. You might as well get involved with it. Get in it. Love it. <laughs> Fall in love with a little bit of that fear that comes up when you think about change. Mm. That's what it is, man. People... Yeah. people People, people, they think about changing and, and there's, a fear, there's a fear of the unknown and, and that fear of the unknown keeps them from changing and ensures that you're going to pay the ultimate price of regret. And it's just the reality that where change lives, change lives right on the outside of that comfort zone. And, and that's why people yes. avoid it at all costs. It's funny when you, when you talked about um, that 1%, that 1% yeah. that actually embraces change. There was a quote that I was reading uh, the other day that said, uh, and it's kind of cheesy and cliche, but, but if you think about it in the context of what we're talking about today, it's so powerful. And it's, it said, the ones that truly believe that they can change the world are the ones that are crazy enough to actually do it. That's right. And, and that's that 1% um, that you're talking about. You're right. Um, yeah, I wonder you if know, I've ever read that quote on, on the crazy ones. Have I ever read that? You keep talking off. Yeah, that. I think you have. I Did I read it on a podcast? No, 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 no. But I think oh. you've heard, I've, oh, I've heard it before at least. Because we've done so many hundreds of podcasts. <laughs> I forget. <laughs> Number 800. This is 800. I couldn't even, I didn't even, I thought it was seven. <laughs> you're, you're like, nope. Oh, jeez. Uh, but yeah, the, um, you know, with regret, it's funny, Gary Vaynerchuk talks about this pretty often that there was this period of time, like a few years, where he hung out with people that were like 70, 75, 80, 85 years old, just on purpose, sought after old people. And he's like, really old people. And, and he sought after them and he got to know them and he had conversations with them and he talked about like 
their lives and, and the things that they did, the things they wished they did. And he just became infatuated with that. He came yeah. in, infatuated by, by figuring out what it was that made these people successful, what made them not successful, and what he ultimately got of that whole experience is just that regret is just, just terrifying. Oh. And that each single person, that when they, when they started to talk about those things that they regretted, it's like they just completely changed in, oh. in who they were. And, and that, I mean, if, if regret by itself does not drive a human being, it's because they haven't just made that realization yet. It's because they haven't um, realized it. Hopefully this podcast reaches everybody. Our goal mm -hmm. is that people will become terrified of regret and committed to change themselves and, and, and be excellent at whatever you're doing, whatever you choose to do. And, and it should be, this isn't like a, 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 life, a lifetime where you're, you know, you're 80 looking back. This is like, a, there are things that I regret about last week that I should have done or could have done or, or if I would have done it this way, then this maybe would have happened that, that are driving me crazy today. Yeah. You know, I mean, so it's a daily, a daily sure. thing. Like you'll, you'll regret something tonight that you know you should have done this morning. Yep. And so it's a constant, constant thing. One of the, um, one of the quotes that I found said that people are often resistant to change because they don't realize that change is a constant, yep. that everything is changing all the and time. that if you're not changing along with it, it's the, the thing that we say all the time. You're either moving forward or you're moving backwards. That they're, yep. they, You can't stay the same. Yeah. And when the world's moving as fast as it's moving nowadays, if you are not steadily doing things to make yourself better every single day and, and moving with that change, then it is impossible to stay where you're at. Did you find that? I did find it. You want me to read this? Yeah. It's, it's, it actually is... Was this like a your Steve Jobs thing or something? No, uh, Rob, uh, I don't know how to say his name, but, far, mm. but he's an average, average. You know what? It's, misat it's misattributed to Steve Jobs, though. So yeah. Is it? Yeah, it is. That's <laughs> funny you say that. Yeah. It just said That's that down here. But Rob Siltanen, Siltanen, Siltanen. It's Rob, S-I-L-T-A-N-E-N. -E I want to make sure he gets credit for it. <laughs> thanks, but, Rob. Uh, thanks, Rob. Thanks, <laughs> Rob. Uh, but he said, here's to the crazy ones. The misfits, the rebels, the troublemakers, the round pegs in the square holes. The ones who see things differently. They're not fond of rules. You and I are not fond of rules. <laughs> and they have no respect for the status quo. If there's one thing I cannot stand, it's average. It's mediocre. It's status quo. It makes me want to vomit. Do nothing or do it all. Do not. That, that middle ground is putrid. You can quote them, disagree with them, glorify or vilify them. About the only thing you can't do is ignore them because they change things. They push the human race forward. And while some may see them as the crazy ones, we see genius. I'm literally calling us geniuses here. Are you like that? Um, because the people who are crazy enough to think they can change the world are the ones who do. So that's and that's what you were saying. Yeah. I want to say, I want to say it was like an Apple commercial or something one time. Maybe that's why it's attributed to Steve Jobs. Who, Who, knows? Knows? Who so, knows? Sorry, Rob. Sorry, Rob. <laughs> Rob's yeah. probably a big deal. He probably, he's probably. <laughs> it's a pretty good quote. He's probably. It's an awesome <laughs> quote. <laughs> we might want to research Rob. Yeah. Get him on the podcast. Right. <laughs> he's not dead. <laughs> if he doesn't hate our guts, right? If he. <laughs> there's a, our email inbox right now. It's full of Rob. <laughs> Got people sitting. <laughs> that happens all the time within our organization. Someone will say a quote and they'll be like, oh, this guy said it. And Joseph will be like, I said that. I, I said that. Say Who are you that. giving credit? That is like my favorite story to tell. Yeah. <laughs> oh, man. But another interesting, just quick little story. Uh, I was with a, a guy this week uh, that we both know that used to work with us. And uh, I, he was, I was nearby where he lived, and so we worked out twice this week, actually, uh, together. And, and it was interesting. So I was talking about all the different things we've got going on. And, yep. and uh, cause we were, <laughs> things are busy, things are yeah. hectic. And, uh, and we're running at a, at a crazy, crazy pace. And, and he used to work with us and was at that, was doing that at that same pace for, for a, a number of months. 
and uh, and is no longer working with us. And and the job where he's at now is a little bit more uh, laid back. It's a little bit it's a, a salary kind of deal, and um, it's just a it's a easier um, easier way of life, I guess you'd say. Sure. And it was so funny when we were working out yesterday. It was actually it was just yesterday. Um, at some point, as I was going through like all these different things that we're doing, he was like, "Man, he's like I'm." I'm kind of fired up just listening to you talk. Yeah. <laughs> he's like, you have there's so much, so many things that you're doing and all this stuff, and and uh, he's like, man, he's like, I need to, I need to figure things out. <laughs> he's like, I need to figure out what I want to do. He's like, because I mean, I'm comfortable, you know, I'm sure. comfortable, yeah, comfortable. Uh, with where I'm at, but but man, he's like, I'm not being. Um, Comfort's the enemy of excellence. So just absolutely, yeah. I don't know if He's somebody like, ever not... said that before, but if yeah. it didn't, that's mine. So Rob, you're gonna have to quote me on that one. <laughs> <laughs> but, but that was it. I mean, he was like, you know, I'm comfortable, and in my income right now, it's great. Like it's comfortable. Yeah. He's like, but I'm not being pushed on a daily basis. He's like, I miss yeah. being. I missed being challenged. Sure. He's like, right now, he's like, it's not really a challenge, mm -hmm. and uh, and it was cool to see that from someone that. Um, was a it's a competitive person uh, did except insanely well with us insanely. Um, and we'd love to have him back if you're watching which I know he does um, <laughs> you better have heard that cool <laughs> <laughs> but um, um, but yeah but that was interesting it was interesting to hear that uh, perspective because I think with us I mean change has become so a part of our everyday life yeah. I mean sometimes I feel like my ADD that I have it just like sets me up perfectly for change because I'm I welcome it because oh, I'm yeah. tired of what I'm doing I'm ready for the next thing to happen five minutes later yep. and and that's the thing that I, I think we want really everyone to get out of this is that change is a good thing yep. um, it's a good thing and and it's it's an inevitable thing yeah. and so the last quote that I put on here is that if you do not create change change will create you Ooh. and and what I got out of that quote is that everything I want in my life I want to I want to be proactive yeah. not reactive and I feel like 90 plus percent of the world is reactive when it comes to every aspect of their life that they're just kind of just going through the motions yep. something happens and, and you react. have to change which that in itself is is great yeah. but changing and evolving constantly yourself so that you're proactively uh becoming uh the person that you have to be to get to where you want to go because that's one of the biggest things that we focus on is is i've got goals you know short term long term Let's just talk about the like a five year goal. Yeah, that person that I will be when I hit my five year goal is a different person than I am now. Exactly. And there are probably a hundred and fifty, if not more, mile markers on the way to that goal that will be change, 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 change. Yep. And I will be a completely different person. The coolest thing, and I would. This is just a little piece of advice that I would highly recommend people doing. Uh, when I got started um, uh, working with Joseph, I started documenting everything. I started taking videos. Those are incredible. By it, the way. Well, it's crazy. I mean, they they were horrible in the in the beginning, but but it's so it it is one of the coolest things that I can do now is I can get on my computer and I can look at these videos. And I can and I can hear myself talk coming. I would do these videos in my car, uh, leaving meetings, going to meetings. I yeah. would talk about my daily goal, my weekly goal. I would update throughout the week. And I was never putting these videos out there. These videos weren't on Facebook. I do them on Facebook Live now, but th I wasn't putting them out there anywhere. I was just doing it. Honestly, I don't even. It's the coolest thing, but I really don't even know why uh, I was doing it. Um, but I, just, I, I don't know if maybe it was just because I was always on the road by myself and it was just something to pass the time. I, I think <laughs> more of like that um, movie where um, What's-His-Face was shipwrecked on an island by himself. Exactly. And made Wilson. that little Wilson. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I picture you as in your card, <laughs> or just or like one of those movies where they're like lost in space and they're like yeah. on, on the little like video camera. They're like, "Help me! It's been seven months, four weeks." Three. <laughs> <laughs> that may be. That it. would be eight months though. It is seven months, four you know, weeks. That's don't know. semantics. <laughs> <laughs> but but I would I it's would make these six videos in twelve weeks. <laughs> 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 Anyways, 
So I would make these videos, but now I can go back and watch them. And every single time I do, the ones from two and a half years ago, the ones from two years ago, the ones from a year and a half, the, the ones from six months ago I can watch. Yeah. And I'm like, I don't even know who that person is. Yeah. Number one, he has no facial hair. And, <laughs> and, and number two, just even the, the, the smallest things that I'll notice about it, by doing that, and that's my recommendation, is, is just start documenting everything that you do on a daily basis, especially if you're in sales, because it is invaluable being able to go back and see the progression over time. Oh, yeah. Because when it happens, it happens gradually, it happens slowly, and, and, and you look back and you don't really remember those, those little steps mm -hmm. along the way. But to be able to go back and see that documented, it is the coolest thing I don't know why I started doing it, but it's the coolest thing I ever did because yeah. now I'll have that I'll have that documented forever. Yeah. Um, those videos, I mean, hours and hours and hours and hours of stuff. I mean, it's 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 insane, uh, but it's been the coolest process. Um, so I would highly recommend people doing that. Um, it's not like you got to put it on Facebook Live. It's literally just popping up your phone and, and talking about your day, shooting yeah. your goals out. The other cool thing about it was every single week when I would put a goal out in the beginning of the week, I would kind of update throughout the week after after each meeting, and at the end of the week I would recap. Yep. It was eerie how many times that the goal that I set in the beginning of the week by documenting it like that at the end of the week, it would be like right on it yeah. or right above it. or like, But it was so close and it was because you couldn't me. even say it right below it, could you? You couldn't yeah, even was, get to let that come out of your mouth. <laughs> Did few, you notice there that? Were a few times. I he couldn't even let it come out of his mouth. That's like, how competitive he is. This is right at it, or right, right above it, or right, right or at it. Right at it. <laughs> God, that's even funny, if I Tyler. experience defeat, I won't admit defeat. <laughs> but, but, uh, but to me, that was that was purely it's it's a law of attraction thing for me. It was yeah. you know with you hear people talk about you know write down your goals and it makes it X percentage more right, right. probability of achieving it. But for me, speaking your goals, mm -hmm. uh, speaking your goals uh, out loud and to yourself and and repeatedly throughout a week, there is something magical. Uh, that happens with that, and, it, and it's it it every time at the end of the week I would say, all right, guys, my goal, and I would say, all right, guys, like I was talking to thousands of people, like it was just it was just like it was just me, like literally these first videos, I'm like, what's up, everybody? And I'm like, who am I talking to? Who's everybody? There was a probably like a, a little bit podcast. of delusion. Probably a little bit of delusion. Yeah, yeah. We got people coming in from all over the world on the podcast today. We want to thank you from out there in China. And, uh, I love it. Uh, but it was every time I'd say, I'd say, all right. So my goal this week was 100 policies, and let's see what the results were. 102 policies. I'm yeah. like, huh, I wonder if I would have said 125. I'm like, yeah. probably would have gotten the freaking 125. Probably would have done it. Uh, so it's a cool thing. Um, but you want to wrap up this uh, little little talk on change? Yeah, Because I completely we're... got off change. No, we're done. I, I completely changed the subject. You completely <laughs> changed what we were doing. <laughs> That's part of change, yeah. man. But that, yeah. that, you need to be the subjugator of change in your own life. That. That's really what we're talking about here. And Tyler was, he was dead on topic. He says he wasn't on topic, but he was talking about how he mastered personal change in his own life. And he gave you a bunch of tips there on how you can do it and how you can document it and how you can goal set and use those things to hold yourself accountable. You don't need somebody to hold you accountable. What is that? You don't need that. You need to hold yourself accountable. You need to wage war on personal change. So. Man, um, if you enjoy our podcast, we go go like it and share it and, yeah, and absolutely. It's facebook.com slash saleswolves podcast. We're also on SoundCloud, which is soundcloud.com slash saleswolf podcast, and then we're on iTunes. So the iTunes, these are these videos and iTunes are uploading on every single Friday. So we record yep. on Friday and then they upload the next Friday. The next few podcasts, we're going to do, do some pretty interesting stuff. Uh, we're going to jump on Facebook Live, probably, on yep. a few of them. And we're going to give away uh, some stuff. We may give away... Um, we've got a few of these Ask Gary V books. And by a few, I mean we've got 700 and I think 40 of them left. Uh, we somehow decided to purchase 750 of Gary Vaynerchuk's most recent book.
We wanted to read it a couple times, right? So we bought mm. 750. Anyway. And we did get to hang out with Gary for like, what, two and a half hours that Dude, night? Dude, it was though? incredible. Probably. That guy's and incredible. Andy Frisella, one of the yeah. coolest nights. Probably one of the coolest nights I've had in a long time. Yeah, bar Business done. wise. Yeah, this- <laughs> <laughs> yeah business wise. <laughs> for sure. Uh, that's awkward. That's uh, awkward. So guys, yeah, share it up. Uh, let your friends know what we're doing. We want to provide this content um, you know, <laughs> to as many people as possible because it's stuff that needs to be heard. Yeah. And it's stuff that, um, that we're super passionate about. So um, please do us that favor. And uh, with that, we will be coming at you next Friday. Going to do a little Facebook Live, give a couple books away. And so we'll have some announcements to remind you throughout the week. And uh, with that, I am Tyler Harris. Joseph Caldwell. And we are the Sales Wolves. Ow! Woo!